The reoccurrence extender is a tool that allows you to extend any existing reoccurring shifts on your schedule. It also allows you to add in any new reoccurring shifts or rotations right here within the reoccurrence extender screen. So this tool can be found under your schedule menu. Once open, it is going to display any existing reoccurring shifts on your schedule that have been added using the reoccurrence extender. So here on our demo site, there are several rotations uh, that have been added. And what we're going to take a look at here is this processed through date. So this is the expiration date or the date that the reoccurring shift is expiring. So if I needed to extend an existing rotation, I'm going to hit extend rotations here. And now I can go through and select the shifts that I'm looking to extend. Now you can select multiple and extend multiple shifts at one time. However, if those shifts are going to have different end dates or even a different start date, you may want to select one shift at a time. So we're going to take a look at a shift that has expired or was processed through the beginning of this year. So I've checked this shift here and then up at the top is where we're going to enter in the new start date and the new end date. So we're going to put today's date for example purposes, and we always recommend setting the end date as one year from the start date, unless the shift should expire sooner. Hitting go is going to add in this new recurrence to the schedule or those new shifts. So you should get a notification that the shifts have been added and you're good to go. You can continue on here selecting shifts that you would like to extend. Now, the second thing you can do within your reoccurrence extender is add in a new rotation. So I'm going to hop back into our edit rotation screen here. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have this new rotation option here. So you select the member that should be added using this new rotation, select the shift and be careful to select the correct position within that shift. Under select rotation, this dropdown is going to include any custom rotations that we have built in for you. So if you ever need a custom rotation or pattern added, you can reach out to support and we will get that added for you. In this example, we're going to use a one on to off rotation. We'll put in the start and the end time of this shift. We'll put the base date here as today. And then this column here, these are your shift notes. We're going to leave these blank. We'll go ahead and hit update. Now scrolling back down to the bottom, we can see this new shift that was added. This is showing as unprocessed right now because we have not yet added this new shift to the schedule. So to add this shift to the schedule, we're going to go through the same steps as before. So extend rotations here. We'll scroll to the bottom to select this new shift. Put in the start and the end date using the same dates as before. And then once we hit go, these shifts will be added to the schedule. So again, we've got that confirmation message here, but we can also hop into the schedule and confirm that they've been added successfully. So you can see the shift that we've added on a one on to off rotation. And it should now be in place until September of next year. Please reach out to us if you have any questions about using the reoccurrence extender.